expect some noise for our penultimate bout of the evening. It's another welterweight contest. And here's Uganda's Shadiri Bwogi. There are the Vuvuzelas in the crowd. Shadiri Bwogi, 23 years old. Had a bye through the first round, so his first taste of the action here in Dakar. Dakar International Expo Center. We've seen this man already, Mesfin Biru Kerala. Saw him defeat Brice Romaric Basole of Burkina Faso, and he was very impressive he was. in that bout. And uh, looks to have perhaps a, a tougher test here. Bwogi was out in the first round of the African Games, losing to a fighter from Zambia, Kerala. He went out in the last 16 of the African Games to uh, the man we saw comprehensively beaten earlier, Boniface Mayina yes. of Kenya. So um, into the ring goes Bwogi. We just caught a glimpse before the boxers came out of uh, the Ugandan sports, including some of the boxers, including Joshua Marley, who... Uh, yeah. The drunken master uh, got caught. Yeah, he was knocked out in the sporting sense rather than literally. Yes. Um, he was put out of the light heavyweight division this afternoon. Uganda, high hopes. And uh, they've already had uh, a winner. I think Masembe did win, didn't he? Yes, Isaac yes. Zembe, the uh, second seed in the featherweights. He made it through earlier. Can Bwogi join him in the quarterfinals? This the welterweights. And, uh, 23 and 24 years old. So, fair bit of youth and uh, already the referee having a word. I hope that's not a sign of things to come. You can see the Ugandan boxer Bwogi Southpaw leading with the right. Kerala just up on his toes. You can see some intent in that right hand yeah. from Bwogi and it missed. Would have been a gust of wind past wow. Kerala's face. Oh, and there was a good... Was that a slip? I guess it Bit was of a, a slip. But everything's um, a slip now until... <laughs> until otherwise. <laughs> until otherwise took notified. Oh, a couple of good punches from Bwogi there. Good combination. Yeah, a minute uh, gone. they are getting busy. Yeah, there's a, a feeling this might not go the distance. Oh, we'll bold see. call, Tom. Bold call. Yeah, I've said it, Rory. <laughs> I'm on record. That's what we like. I'm off the fence. I was knocked off the fence. <laughs> you were knocked off the fence. <laughs> Kerala, just a bit more organized than he was in the opening seconds. And uh, trying to land, but uh, just getting a bit messy in there. Yeah. As I say, Kerala, he did look really impressive in the first round. Different opponents. Yep. And uh, Bwogi. Yeah, we see the step up, the Rory. We see the step up uh, throughout these days. Now we're into the round of 16, so. Yep. A few shots around the corner. And more discussions. Yeah, you see around the back of the head, which uh, definitely isn't allowed. Bwogi on the offensive, and there was a big left, which hit the target. You know, I think they're still trying to figure things out, but they're doing so with uh, fury and, and intent here it's as they right come there. pouring in. I think Kerala, I think he was uh, said in his interview after winning his first contest that uh, he trains with uh, some runners, and, uh, trains at altitude. Yep. Uh, it's not doing too much running here. They're uh, engaging in the middle of the ring. Wogi just the aggressor, and there is a slip. For sure. Yep. Even you agree. No, no, that absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but again, we, we as we discussed, uh, there's yeah, been a lot of slips. More slips than I've ever seen in a you know several day tournament. Oh. Another word about punches to the back of the head. Ten seconds to go in round one. Kerala landing with a right, but he was off balance. And uh, Bwogi hurling himself forward. So another slip. <laughs> yeah. Just swinging himself it was through the a, ropes. That was more of an escort through the ropes <laughs> than it was a slip. But it's uh, not, not a punch and uh, therefore probably no 
points, but here we are again. Tom, score time. I'm going to go for Bwogi. Okay. Um, the man in red. Yeah, Just thought yeah. he had a bit more yep. intent. Yeah, I d there yeah, weren't I, too I many clean shots landed. No, but he was, he was stalking and... Yeah. And uh, I agree with you. Let's see. I can't just what? disagree with you for the sake. You can. Of you can. No, if you not want. just for the sake of it. <laughs> okay, not just okay. to create an eye. And we've still banned uh, the executive research lead, Vianney Dre, after he's 0 for 2. 0 for 2. Yeah. And you're right. Look at that. Ah, clean sweep. Yeah. I felt pretty comfortable about yeah. that one too. Kerala you did. didn't really produce much. Bwogi didn't show too much either. But no. uh, the, uh, uh, I think it'll pick up here. I, I believe I said it would be stopped before the end, but it was just a wild guess. Yeah, I'd forgotten you'd said that. <laughs> I don't know why I reminded anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll see some more punches landed in round two. Yeah. It's a bit of a cagey opening. and uh, Well, I think there's intent and, right. and there's passion in the punches, so... Uh, and we saw last fight that, you know, one one punch. Yeah. yeah the, the, I think one before last it was, wasn't it? That That's was, right. Uh, that was the one. Thank oh, good right from Kerala. He was a little off balance. He's, he seems to have done that a couple of times. He, he throws the right. He's just turning himself around. Bwogi getting inside there. And, uh, yeah, Kerala again. He did that in the first round. He landed the right, but he was off balance as he threw it and then went a bit more off balance after landing. And... Uh, almost ended up on the canvas. Kerala, a bit more intent from the Ethiopian in this round. Just trying to pick a punch, Bwogi lands a right. And if you're the captain of the Bombers, you look like Bwogi looks, don't you? You, you, are, you, you come with passion and you, you're throwing a lot. He's, he has been aggressive, but Kerala just starting maybe to relish the task here. He was on the defensive in the first round, but Kerala, you can see, he's starting to, to come forward. And what is that? It's another slip. Kerala landed the right. He did land the right on Bwogi, but he, he he's done that a couple of times with the right. As he's thrown the right, he's, he's sent himself off balance. And uh, I think that's what happened there. Just over a minute to go in round two. My point is, what sent him to the ropes? It was a Yeah, punch. I think it's a lot of it is it his own momentum okay. as he threw okay. that right. right. And That's he's fair. done it a couple of times. That's fair. I um, trust your, your insight. Glad someone does. That's a good right yeah. from Bwogi. Yeah. Through the guard. That's possibly the best shot on Kerala with a right again. And uh, 45 seconds to go in the round. Nothing decisive yet. No one really getting on top. Kerala well, trying to land go. the combination. Last, last 40, maybe. Uh, Time Kerala to impress. Can, yeah, he needs uh, needs some points here. Uh, there's a mouth guard down. Well, we've had enough shenanigans with well, a mouth guard going go. out today. If Nick we had 10 caught. minutes, we could tell all the stories. <laughs> <laughs> some by happenstance, some by ringcraft, we think. Yes. <laughs> 20 seconds to go in the round. Yeah, I think we're starting to see the Kerala we saw when he fought earlier. Yep. Took him a while to warm up then as well. But uh, It's still a close round, yes, I'd say. it is. I, I don't think there's too much in it, but... Vlogi trying to land, but just not doing so. A bit of a stare at the end of the round there. Yeah, oh, a bit of needle. Ways. Yeah, bit of right. needle. Yeah, that's like you and me once in a while when we come in here <laughs> yeah. to the commentary. When you, you take my chair, there's a little bit of a <laughs> stare down and yeah, somebody separating us. Now, that has never happened. Never. Made never. Uh, so what do you think? Well, it's just a bit of intensity now, isn't it? I yes. just love that stare down yes. at the end of the round. And uh, I think Kerala had the better of it, marginally so. Maybe we'll see the uh, punch into the ropes. I think it's here. No, it wasn't that it. was a good shot by Boyd. Yeah, it wasn't right? the one. It wasn't the one that sent so we're, Kerala we're, to the deck. We haven't called it, and look at that. Bwogi gets it on four cards. So he is uh, in complete control he now. He is in control. Kerala gets it on one card. So Bwogi 
two points to the good on four scorecards. So Kerala needs to produce something pretty special if he's going to continue his stay here in Dakar. And the winner of this takes on the winner of our final men's round of 16 coming up oh, yes. right after this one. Looking forward to that. Oh, Nafitel yeah. Goma oh, who was Goma. involved in the bout of the tournament. These two serving up hopefully something special in round three. It's on right now. This is your ticket. This is your chance for both men. And more discussions. Yeah, and more warnings. Unwarranted intervention from the referee. Kerala, he knows he needs something big and he's he's unloading. He is. He's giving everything he has. Can he carry this on for three minutes? Wogi in charge on the scorecard. And just Boxing a bit clever now, trying to stay out oh, of danger. Took a right. They both took big shots there. Yeah, I, I agree. He's he's doing a little more moving and dancing and understands the, the number on the card. Oh, oh it's a big right from right. Bogey. Oh. Carolo just falling short and now he's back on it. And what was that? Uh, I'm not even sure what that was. That he was just a, seemed to crumble you know, it was for no reason. It was a tumble. It was a tumble, it wasn't a slip. It's an odd way he went down there, yeah. but uh, nothing doing. No. And uh, we're straight back on, and Bwogi with the right on the turn, and the referee Keep not happy head. with yep. his head. Yeah. OK. Minute 25, and it's here and now for Kirila. That's oh, better. That's back better. To back right hands. Bwogi fires back. There's another yes. right from Kerala. You could tell, Bogey must know he, he's he's okay because he's moving and avoiding. Hands a bit low from Bogey. I'd yep. be a bit concerned if I was in his corner. Good counter from Bogey yeah. there, though. I think he fancies this to Uganda. Oh. He's in front, but I think he wants to Final do minute. some damage. Somebody's going to move on to the quarterfinals. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Bogey in the red or Kerala in the blue? It's Bogey's to lose at this point. Kerala needs to come up with some Fire in his uh, right or left hand. It needs to be something big. He's trying. He's trying, but Bwogi taking punches well. And Bwogi just getting on his bike slightly. Trying to stay out of danger. 30 seconds to go. Remember, That's the danger for Kerala. When he, when he tries to throw, Bwogi can hit straight back. Remember two fights ago, we saw it end with one punch. Yep. 20 seconds. Kerala needs to turn up the pace now. But he's wrapped up by the Ugandan and the clock's ticking down. 10 Is seconds there a for Kerala. Big right hand coming. Needs to produce one. But uh, I think yeah. he's going to run out of time. And it's Bwogi who's uh, in control. Kerala unloading on the road. with a flurry. But and uh, there it is. I think it's too little, too late. I do too. And uh, you can hear the Vuvuzelas, the Ugandan fans, pretty Who happy with what those? they've seen. Well, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I have to say, but uh, they're making an atmosphere, no, they which do. is good. They and do. the Uganda fans very happy with that. And I think their man has made it through to the quarterfinals. Shadiri Bwogi in the red. I wouldn't call, have called that. A, it wasn't the beautiful. It wasn't the sweetest of science. No. In it, that one. And part of that is the styles. We've talked about that before. It got a bit messy at yep. times and a uh, nice embrace between the two boxers, plenty of respect, despite that stare down at the end of round yeah, two, which I really enjoyed. It's all between the ropes. It's okay. It's, uh, I, I like the intensity. And there it you is. Love that. Bwogi through to the quarterfinals. Another Ugandan into the last eight. Captain of the Bombers. Yeah. Showing the way. He certainly is. And uh, through to the quarterfinals, he'll face the winner of our next bout between Nafita.